Hello everyone. A few years ago I found this device on the internet and I found it quite intriguing. It's supposed to be a free energy device powered by gravity. The design consists of a pulley system which has water filled pistons going around the outside. The piston, the water is shown in blue, the, the, the piston is actually a, a weight, a lead weight which acts as a piston inside the cylinder. The idea being that on the left hand side here, the, the piston is upside down, the weight pulls downwards and sucks water in. And if you follow the cursor, the top piston over here is going to suck the water from ideally the, the piston on the other side which is at the bottom. Also the piston on the right side is being pushed down due to gravity and it will also push water up to the top. So you have a dual action here. The, the top left one is going to almost create a vacuum to draw water in whereas the bottom right one is going to create a pressure to push that water up. The more weights you add in between the two pulleys the more power you would get out of this device if it works. This page was written by a professor from a university. He's explaining here why it won't work. At the bottom here it gives a formula and basically he's using just one set of pistons, the bottom and the top, to explain that there's no net gain and therefore this device won't work. However, his explanation leaves out the other pairs in between and these pistons, which has the extra water on the left, will obviously provide a sufficient extra weight to hopefully rotate the system. I don't know if it works, I don't know anyone who has built it, but I did work out a couple of years ago, I created this spreadsheet where I plugged in various values like the size of the piston, the amount of water that would be held in the cylinder of a certain size. Uh, I used 22 pistons, I worked out power, force, etc. And it looked like it should actually work. However, there is one flaw with this design as shown here. The space between the pistons, you require obviously space for water and space for a piston to extend. That the more pistons you add, the more height you require. And the more height you require, the greater the water pressure between the bottom and the top and therefore you need more weight to be able to get that water from the bottom to the top. Adding more weight means you have a longer piston, which again adds more height. So. There should be a better way to do it, and there is. So yeah, it's an improved way of doing it. I've angled the pistons, I have 22 pistons, which means I can fit more, I can fit them closer together, thereby reducing the height between the top and the bottom. And because the height is reduced, I need less weight to be able to force the water from the bottom to the top. That makes this whole design much more compact, much more efficient, and much more likely to work. I'll show you another version. Okay, this one looks horrible from this angle. Let me just turn it. So as you can see here, they have been staggered so that I can fit four next to each other. And this actually makes them even closer than the angled version. This is therefore more compact and should be well, more efficient. Hopefully someone will build this device and try it. If anyone does, please send me the link. And don't forget to like and subscribe.